Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and I think it's time to talk about, well, not necessarily that Mage is the new warrior, but the cards that have provided this opportunity, the new mechanic at Hearthstone, Miniaturize, take a look at its impact in the game. Has it been, as I say in the title, an absolute game changer? We're gonna take a look at all the mini cards for all the classes, neutrals, see how they're performing, what the promise is on all of them, and just how I feel about the mechanic. And of course, I would love to hear your guys' takes in the comments below about how you feel about these little biddies and the miniaturized cards and all that good stuff. And a friendly reminder, if you enjoy the content on the channel and you feel like I've earned your subscription, please hit that sub button down below. Get the video a like. We are really, really close to 81,000 subscribers. So thank you all so much for your continued support. So we're gonna hop into the collection. We're gonna go class by class, take a look at how these minis have been doing, and then we'll take a look straight up at the data. And starting off, we have Death Knight with the amateur puppeteer. If you don't know what miniature eyes is, you've been playing Hearthstone. Basically, you play this minion, you get a copy of it added to your hand, and it becomes a one mana, one one version of it. It's kind of like a battle cry, but not really, because it doesn't work with that bearded dude Bran, Baron's beard. It's not stopped by a, a bull, boo pistol bully. It's free of all that stuff. And yeah, this one has been a hand buff one where it's got taunt, death rattle, give undead in your hand, plus two, plus two. It does not seem like uh, death fight is the, hand buff death fight is the deck of choice. It's certainly playable. This card is really good. If you pick this in arena, it's incredible. Just a couple of undeads. Build up a giant no muncher. It's felt really strong, really good. And for me, anytime I play a mini, it just feels nice. Like it's got that twin spell vibe of it replaces the spot in your hand. It doesn't go to the right. It's just like another cool aspect of it. And this card does a really good job. It's got a lot of good synergies within the class and will only get better as more undeads are made. Like this is a card that isn't just gonna be, you know, tied down to this one expansion. It's, I think it'll see play throughout the next year or two, right? Like all these cards are gonna be in standard for like two years. That's pretty cool. So overall, like this one quite a lot. And also fun fact, Flick, the road card, if it kills either versions of these uh, mini tries or minis, it kills every copy of it. The minute they have the same name, so they all blow up. So just a fun fact, if you want to destroy all those minis, you can always flick them. We Window shopper. <laughs> what else are we going to say? This card's broken. This one card, and I guess Umpire's Grasp alongside with it, has resurrected Demon Hunter from the dead. The class is unplayable to now. It's the best class in the game but counterable. The mana cheat aspect of the card's pretty busted. It's not printed on the card, but yes, battle card, discover demon, set its stats and cost to this minions. So you get the stats, you get the cost as well. Get that one mana, one, one mini. We all know you get that Meg Theranon. It's absolutely ridiculous. I've been crafted this golden because you're never playing this in a deck because yes, the window shopper itself, it's crazy and it's just a super powerful card and another one that feels really good to play it just feels a little bit op to face ruin's got chia drake the four mana two four dragon you get to choose one mini gain spell damage plus one or draw a spell it's a good card without a deck to really get it going it's you basically five mana draw two or get a bunch of spell damage. I anticipate this card will see a lot of play uh, over the next two years, but the nice thing about minis is they're so flexible. You play it and then you get the one in your hand. You can play that later. You can play it the same turn. It's really solid. And of course, I haven't even mentioned, you can get them all back with Geppetto, which is really cool, and maybe get that quest done, but you have to have Geppetto and it's not worth having right now, but still. Yeah, uh, Chia Drake, one of the less performing cards, but again, not because the card is bad, but because the, the class just isn't very good. Mystery Egg, I, I gotta say, not amazing, but I've seen a lot of people do some cruel, pretty cool things. There's been like free bird decks built out of this, which is really solid. Another card that might actually become good later. It, it's got a decent played win rate. The deck win rate is just atrocious. And again, I like what it does. It creates this cool little thing where, yeah, I'm playing this zero attack egg. I gotta like proc it or activate it in some way, but I get this one mana one one egg, which I can attack with and get that d uh, beast out of my deck or not out of my deck, a copy of it that costs five less. So that's pretty cool. I like how the, the one one aspect of it kind of changes the way the original card works. And we know that the mage midi has been incredible. Um, I like the whole archetype pushed 
this expansion for mages is all about playing no minions, but the best card of the set is a minion, right? Like you really want to play Sleet Skater. And again, the flexibility of having a one mana, maybe gain 15 armor by opponent that has a huge attack minion, especially with the Warlocks and the Demon Hunters of the world. Really cool card, incredibly solid. It's going to be in Mage for like, yeah, probably the next two years. Paladins was so good with the Tigress plushie. It's already been nerfed. That's why there's a full dust refund on it. Going to three to four, I will say, I disagree with this nerf. I know the card was OP, but it was adorable, and it was more just that Wind Fury garbage that made it so frustrating, especially with Chargers, that I kind of wish it was still three, but still a decent card at four, and Tareem, absolute powerhouse of a card. Um, I love the way this one works as well, where the, the first part is kind of like, oh, I can buff something aggressively with these stats, and then the one mana version, I can neutralize a threat. Like, I love the, the flavor of the mechanic in that aspect when it works that way. Priest Clay Matriarch, really good card. It's too slow in the current meta for the most part, but even the play win rate, we'll take a look later. Card's incredible. And again, it basically gets your whole Timewinder Zeremi done by itself. A really sweet flavor. And you get all these tokens with it, with the Clay Whelp and all that. Really solid. And the minis and all that. They're also, will say, the minis, they're just adorable. They're absolutely adorable. And you can't go wrong with that. Sandbox Scoundrel, despite the fact this card is outright nuts, it's so much mana cheat in one card. Hasn't found a home yet, really, in a competitive deck, but it certainly fits the flavor of Rogue and a bunch of mana cheat and all that. Um, but again, not really performing super well. Uh, the, the interaction I had with Sonya was bugged for a bit, which made it pretty busted, but even not good enough to make the deck playable. Uh, overall, again, a really solid feeling one. Like even the bad minis, the minis that aren't doing great, all feel pretty good. Uh, Sand Art Elemental, really solid, especially with Doc Holiday getting those frogs out. It's just a really cool synergy of getting that Wind Fury. Again, another pretty solid card. And Shutter Block, it's just the slow Shaman decks aren't working that great, but they're all, these minis are great cards in those decks. You're playing them for sure there, including Shutter Block, which gives you the triple battle cry, which is pretty good, especially with like Calamos and actually be able to go face. You, you negate that can't damage the enemy hero tie uh, line. It's pretty cool. The worst one by far though, at least class wise, tabletop role player, like all the other ones feel creative and in line with the class, in line with flavor, but just giving a demon plus two attack and immune for one turn, it, it just, it's weird. This one kind of doesn't fit the flavor. Like you would think maybe a lifesteal would give or just something and it's expensive and the mini part of it just doesn't really, it's not flavorful to me. This is one of the, one of the ones that feels like more of a miss and you can see it by the numbers we'll see in a second. Not very good. War, uh, Warriors is another one that I don't love because it's so narrow. It's cool that a weapon has a mini. I love that aspect of it because the synergy of playing the weapon, getting the mini in your hand, which you can then immediately equip, break this weapon, proc that death rattle triggering a mech, and then swing again to, you know, proc the death rattle twice effectively in like one swing pretty cool but it's just so narrow and there's only so many mechs you want to proc the death rattle of it works pretty well with that six drop but it's just not good enough on its own and neutral wise we haven't seen a ton of play from these minis nostalgic in initiate like a throwback to spell burst it's kind of cool but it's just stats and that's not good enough these days sweet and snow flurry has seen a little bit of play see so playing wild in quest mage and yeah it's pretty cool getting those frost spells and all of that uh, nostalgic gnome not very good and ladder really good marina though getting those card draws getting that honorable kill as she says and the nostalgic clown probably the best of the bunch because with brand warrior being able to like zolo it and dealing a bunch of damage effectively you can otk with this can be pretty darn nuts and then factory assembly bot costs 10 mana and is not very good i will also note we have bot face which lets you get all the minis in the game as long as it gets damaged but yeah this card is absolutely terrible so looking at the stats for all these miniaturized cards how are they doing well only four since the latest patch diamond through legend have are in a positive deck win rate so it's not amazing numbers right window shopper tareem plushy sleet skater but i would like to note that a lot of these minis like animated puppeteer clay matriarch sand art elemental nostalgic clown and shutter block all have positive played win rates it's uh just kind of they're bogged down by worse or worse or decks that's like an example chia drake the play win rate of the card is significantly higher than the deck win rate 
mulligan win rate. All that stuff is higher. They're great cards for the most part. Even the mystery egg, which makes sense because it's a payoff uh, card, has a bit of a higher played win rate, only like the really worst cards. Like the, the, the one I mentioned there for Warlock is just kind of just not useful. But overall, like the miniaturized cards are doing well. I find them really fun to play. I love the flavor of them. I love the way they can interact with each other. And I think it's been a really awesome addition to the game. I'm not sure it's at the level of a tradable or like a forge where I just want it to be evergreen, but it's certainly been a really cool addition. And I'm glad the team put it together and it fits the whole toy expansion just perfectly. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about it. Do you hate them? Do you love them? What would you like to see change about the baby? And we will be seeing more of the mini set most likely. So maybe we'll have to update this video at some point. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.